As you may have heard, Sauce Labs and DQ have created a partnership to provide accessibility information to Sauce Labs users. DQ has created some open source software to do this analysis, and Sauce Labs users only have to execute that code in their tests on our system in order to see results in our user interface. We have implementation examples in five different languages, Java, WebDriver.io, Python, Ruby, and C Sharp. And while Sauce Labs will show you the results, if you have any questions about what those results mean and how to address them, contact DQ. I'm going to be showing the examples in Java, and I'm going to be using the Sauce bindings, essentially a Sauce Labs SDK that makes it easier to work with our service. For example, the Sauce bindings will ensure that your options are W3C compliant, which is an issue that a number of our users are currently having. I'm specifically going to be using the JUnit 5 test runner integration, which is going to do all of the setup and teardown on your behalf without you needing to write the boilerplate code. Specifically, I'm going to be using the accessibility wrapper that Sauce Bindings has provided. And again, there's code for how to do this in all of the languages and the test runners. All of the code that I'm showing is available online at the Sauce Labs training demo Java repo. We're specifically going to be working in the Selenium examples directory. And you can see that there is an accessibility directory here. So let's take a look at what the code looks like. So here we are in the accessibility directory. We're going to be using the sauce bindings example. I'm going to go ahead and kick these off. So to start with, we're going to be running just a basic demo accessibility on saucedemo.com. So let's take a look at the results of this. We are just going to saucedemo.com and call in the accessibility command. If we go to the sauce bindings example, we get this direct link to the job, and it's going to show us the results. Uh, we see that this executed 15 commands, which is a few more than it needs. I've created a pull request for the Java code for DQ to optimize this a little bit, but essentially what we're doing is we're injecting the Java script code for Axe into the frames, and then we're getting the results back here. And what this is doing is it's populating this accessibility tab, and we can see that we only found three issues on the Sauce demo site, and they were all moderate. And it shows what they are here. So what happens when we're executing against a site that has more issues? We're going to run against the ABCD Com Computech test site. And you can see here that we're just going to a different page, executing the same commands. And the result of this is that we see several critical errors, some serious errors, as well as moderate errors. So now let's take a look at what we're actually seeing in the code. So we're going to go back to the sauce demo, get the accessibility results, but we're going to take a look at what the result code shows us. We're going to store the accessibility results in this variable. And when we take a look at the results, this is going to show us the three violations we're expecting here. We have these three rules that were violated and there's information about what each of these are. And again, for more information about how to address problems, uh, you can contact DQ. And to just show you what this looks like without the sauce bindings implementation, we have to create our own test watcher. We're going to get the method name. This is how you need to set up your capabilities to run on sauce labs right now. And then we're going to have to create our own test watcher for what to do with the results. And now we're going to use the DQ Axe builder class directly. And again, it's pretty much the same approach. We're going to navigate to a page. We're going to create this class instance, and then we're going to analyze whatever is on that page with the driver, and then we're going to take a look at the results. And so since I don't get a direct link to this, I have to go to test results and click on the first one here, 
And this is going to look exactly the same as what we saw when we ran this the last time. We just ran it directly here. So hopefully this is a feature that you are going to find interesting and useful and get some good information out of it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what our users are able to accomplish with this. Thank you.